In this video, we're going to show you guys how to create an in-studio reprint order using collages.net's rows system, also known as collages color. First, what you want to do is you want to go down to the sizes button in the lower left corner. Once you click on sizes, you want to click on catalog. And what we're going to do is we're going to order a color corrected 8x10. So we actually need to change to a color corrected product catalog. And in here, before I actually do that, I just want to give you guys a, a little brief overview of all the catalogs available. We have non-color corrected products, color corrected products, non-color corrected proofs, color corrected proofs, gallery wraps, press printed products such as our cards, and also presentation materials. So like I said earlier, we're going to choose a color corrected 8x10, so we're going to change our catalog to color corrected products. And then we're going to go back to the sizes button, and we're going to choose a standard print which is an, an 8 by 10 Now, if you also want to do it a different way, you can, instead of doing that, you can actually click on Sizes, and then just click on Show Sizes Palette, and it gives you a whole other array of images and items to choose from. So, since we're here, we're going to choose 8 by 10 and I'm going to move this to the side so you can take a look at the template in the background. You'll notice over here, as soon as I click on 8 by 10 that's going to turn white, and this is now an 8 by 10 template. So since I already chose the size, I'm going to close this window out. And to choose my images, what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the folder button. And then you're going to locate your images throughout the computer. Now, after your images load on the right hand side, what you want to do is simply pick an image, say we'll take this image right here, and drag and drop it to the left. Now, these images are cropped to a 4x6, so when putting it into an 8x10, we actually get a little room to play around with. So you'll notice once you click on the image and drag it around, you can actually move it up and down to fit in the crop that you're looking for. So we're going to move this up a little bit. As soon as you're happy with the crop, you can let go and click Add to Order right down here. But before we do that, I just want to show you a couple other features that are available here. Right here, we have a zoom bar that allows you to zoom in in case you want a closer look. Then you also have this Options button down here. When you click on the Options button, this actually allows you to change the image to black and white or sepia. And for right now, we're going to keep it at black and white. But you can also add any finishes, textures, or sprays, as well as any mounts. So what we'll do here is we're going to add a styrene mount. And as soon as you're happy with the product, all you need to do is click Add to Order. You'll notice it says added really quickly and then changes. And to review your order, you simply click review order. And now you can review your order before actually sending it to the cart. Now what we're going to do is we are actually going to add a couple more items. I'm going to show you a couple tricks for adding multiple items of the same size at the same time. We're going to close out of the cart and you also want to take note that if you close out of the cart it's not going to delete your order. You're just closing out of the cart so you can actually continue working. So say you want to order a couple images of the same size. Let's say you want to choose the first four images up top here and you want to order them all 8x10s. You'll notice on the left here we still have the 8x10 template shown below. So all we need to do is as soon as you highlight the images that you want as 8x10s, you simply click and drag them over. And you'll see them slowly transfer over. Now when you add images all at the same time, you actually don't need to click Add to Order because it's automatically sending it over to you. So all you need to do now is click Review Order and you'll see on the order review screen all of the items you just added to your cart. Now, say you don't want one of these images that you're finding in the cart. All you need to do is click Delete Item on the left-hand side. It's going to ask you if you want to remove the item. You'll simply click Remove again, and now the option is gone. Now, say you wanted to order two of an image. All you need to do is jump over to the Quantity section, change that to two, and you'll now have two items in your cart. The quantity price will not change until you actually add the item to your cart, so you won't see anything reflected right now. Once everything looks good, you can actually review your order down here. It lets you know the total number of prints, total number of images, and your total price before shipping. And then you want to click Add to Cart, and it's going to ask you to verify all of your customer information, like your photographer code, password, email address, and one thing you can also do for copyright information is if you want to put your studio name at the bottom here, this will be printed on the back of the image when your client receives it. 
Once everything looks good, you want to click Next, and you want to click Send Now via the Internet. We're going to click Next. Now you'll notice, as the order is sending over, the Collage's Color plus Rose Cart actually opens behind the window. The reason the Collage's Color Cart opens in your default web browser is it allows you to group multiple orders together and have them shipped to the same address for one low shipping price. So let's start off by giving this order a name. And then we're going to choose a shipping address. For this order, I'm just going to ship directly to my studio. And then if you want to add any sprays, textures, or mounts to your order, you just want to pick the item you want to add a spray texture or mount to. Choose from the drop down. And we'll add a semi luster spray to this photo. And you want to make sure that if you do choose any options here, that you do click Add Option, or else it won't add to the image. And then you want to click Proceed to Checkout. Scroll down and choose Next. Step number two is where you choose your shipping method. For this order, what we're going to do is choose FedEx Today. And you want to keep in mind that your estimated production time is always going to be displayed in orange to the right next to the drop down. The production time does not include shipping. Once everything looks good, you want to click Next. And step number three is where you're going to review and finally pay for your order so we can get it into production. You want to just double check your order one last time, make sure everything looks good as far as the quantity, price, and any options you've added. Once it looks good, you want to scroll down to the bottom. Always double check your order total. If you have a coupon code, you can enter that here. You want to keep in mind that after you enter any coupon codes, you click Apply Coupon, which will then deduct from the total up here. If you have any account credit from any of your notice placed by your clients, you can always add that in here. But if you just want to use your credit card on file, you just click Use Credit Card on File. It'll automatically fill in. You want to scroll down and click Submit Payment. And once an order number has been generated, It'll show you your total, and then your order will be sent over to production for one of our lab technicians to review.